Hello, Robbie Susan Chandler here from RobbieSusanCardsAndCrafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Quincy, Florida, right outside Tallahassee, Florida. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, you know the saying, if you give someone lemons, they'll make lemonade. Well, if you give us card makers cardstock, we'll make cards. So today, let's make a card. And here's the one we're going. I'm going to show you how to make today. This is a, a beautiful hummingbird easel card using the Thoughtful Expressions dies and stamp set. And you say, well, that doesn't look like an easel card. Well, let me show you. This pops up, and I'll show you from the side. And then here's the way the card looks. Well, let's, there we go. This is the way the card looks when it's sitting down on the table like this. It's kind of hard to show these angles with the camera like this, but I'm going to tilt it just a little bit so you can see. And see how the hummingbird looks like it's flying right up there to the flower. And I've got him on a window sheet so he actually looks like he's suspended in air. This was a really popular card with my card classes last week. So now I'm going to share it with you to see if you want to learn how to make it. So let's get started. All right, our card base. We're using Pretty Peacock today, and it's 11 by 4 and a fourth, and I scored it at 5 and a half in the middle, and then 2 and 3 fourths, which is the middle of, the, of half the card. So it would fold this way, and then for an easel, you fold under. So an easel stands up like that, so you've got the 5 and a half and 2 and 3 fourths, just like that. Now on the front, I use this piece of paper, and this is from the gorgeous uh, Forever Love Designer Series paper. And I love the little roses, and I thought it matched this perfectly. So what I did, I adhered this to my card front, and I've already done that with this one. And I make sure you put it on the front that has the, um, the other bend in it, the easel front. You don't want to put it on the back, which that has happened in a couple of people in classes this week, so make sure you put it here. Now the first thing you're going to do with this, and I'm kind of skipping over a few steps, is to take the next to the largest die from Thoughtful Expressions, and you're going to lay it right on the card front, and I like to line it up so these two little loops that poke out here are right on that score line. You run it through your Big Shot and through the magic of video, here it is. Can you see where it's cut out there? All right, so I'm going to, see here's the piece, here's the hole. But what we want to do with this piece is don't throw it away. Because what I'm going to do is put a little glue on the back of it. And this was something I had to tell my people too, when you um, glue the, that piece to the front of your card, make sure you put glue all over this piece in the back because the middle piece you want you want it to stick when you cut this out. Now see I'm looking at my score line there. I want to line that up with my card here and I'm thinking it probably goes this way. Perfect. So you're going to put it in the hole and you've got glue on the back and just hold it down and then pull the front up and you've got this stuck to the inside. And see I'm my finished card. There it is. And, and the reason I did that is because when you close the card with that window sheet there, you have the continuous design. If that wasn't there, you would have this, well, I guess blank look, just the, um, well, it would look, well, I put that in. It, it would look like just, it would be blank on the other side instead of that pretty design showing through. Okay, so now we have the opening done on the front. Let's look at some more pieces for the front. Okay, the first thing you'll need is that circle, these, and you need two of them. And the way I cut those, I use these dies from the Thoughtful Expression dies, and I've got the two largest ones, and I just sandwiched them together and put them down on my cardstock. And I used Wild Wheat, by the way, this is Wild Wheat. I love this Wild Wheat because it looks gold. And I ran it through. And once you run it through, you get this frame. Move this out of the way. 
And this is one thing I need to warn you about too. When you cut the opening here, make sure you use the smaller of the two because if you use the biggest one, you don't have anything to glue this to. So make sure you use the next to the uh, largest one and not the largest one. All right, so I cut two of these and I cut a window sheet with the largest die. Let me get this out of the way. But I put this here so you can see the um, the scalloped circle. So now I have a window sheet and these two pieces. And you want to layer these together. And make sure you have the finished side up on the front. And see there's a, an unfinished side and here's the finished side. And you want to put that on the back. And you will end up with this piece. And we found out if you get glue on the window sheet, you can get it off with alcohol. We started out with a uh, one of those little wipes that you use on glasses and we noticed it had a lot of alcohol in it and it worked quite well. So we ended up just getting um, a bottle of alcohol out, put it on a paper towel and it, it cleaned it right off. Alright, so let's put this piece on our card front. So I'm going to bend this because I want to see where this part is because you're only going to put your glue right around the edge of this opening. Don't put it on the upper part, because then you'll have your card glued down. That certainly won't work. All right, I'm going to open this like this. And just match up your little bumps and valleys and circles and the design, basically. And I'm going to hold this here for a minute. And while I'm holding that there, I will talk to you about the little flower that I'm going to put on next. Well, I'll talk to you about all of these. The hummingbird, the flower, and these two little pieces were all cut from the Thoughtful Expression dies. And see, this is also the set that I cut these pieces from. So all of these pieces were cut with the same dies. And here's the stamp set. And I stamped the hummingbird and the flower both in Versamark and used gold embossing powder to do those with. So here's my colored and finished little flower. I, I colored the middle with um, Dark Daffodil Delight and the leaves I used Light and Dark Lost Lagoon. Then here's this other piece. So I've got a dimension on the back so I'm going to go ahead and stick this down while this is drying. So this is going to go just right, right up in here and you want your flower your little leaf going down this direction. So I'm just going to put that right there. Alright, so that's the flower. Now my hummingbird. Yes, you know I already have one colored, but I'll tell you how I colored him. I'll put them up here together to show you. The throat was done with dark cherry cobbler. Of course, I've already showed you that I used dark Dactyl Delight on the flower. First I started out on the hummingbird with this um, light gray granite and I kind of did the tail and around here the belly just as kind of a base to start with and then I moved to the light Lost Lagoon and colored some areas here. I tried the light pretty peacock but it was a little bit dark so these areas right here were done with the light Lost Lagoon and then I came back on top of that with the dark where is it? The Dark Lost Lagoon. And I also added a little bit of the light Pretty Peacock. So all of those kind of blended in. Now on the belly here, do, since I colored this with the um, gray granite, I came back in with the color lifter and just lifted a little bit of color off the belly to make it a little bit whiter. And if your eye doesn't show up, you could just take a black pen and put a little dot for his eye. So there's my hummingbird. And let's go ahead and put it now. Now the secret to gluing him down is you want to make sure you put your adhesive on the parts that will be touching this gold frame. Because you really don't want to get glue on the window sheet. So I'm going to put a touch right here because I noticed that's where it was 
touching and a little bit let's see where was the other one right here and this axe tube will be enough to hold it down so and I want him kind of flying down towards that uh, flower so I'm going to hold this one here and this one up here and there we go and that way you don't have glue on the back who knows what that's going to look like Although when you look at the back, you do see your color, and you could color that, I guess, if you wanted to. All right. Now let's see where we are. Okay, you noticed I have a back piece here. This is four by five and a fourth, uh, Whisper White. And I stamped it with Pretty Peacock. And I used this sentiment from Heartfelt Hexagon. And the flower actually, where the flower come from? The flower came from thoughtful expressions and I just colored it a little bit with the Daffodil Delight and the Lost Lagoon and the reason you see this piece here this was one of the boo-boos in class that someone glued it to the wrong side instead of throwing this piece out I said you know it's going to be my back piece and I'll just put this on top of it and it's, it's really pretty that way all right so we have one more piece to put down and that's our sentiment and it was punched out of Pretty Peacock with the double, o double oval punch and I stamped it in Versamart, heated it with gold embossing powder, and then I punched another oval out of this paper, which has a shimmer, a shine to it. In fact, these pieces right here were cut from the same paper. This, um, I didn't show you these up close. This flower and this leaf. And this paper is called, let's flip it over, the 2023-2025 in color luster specialty paper so it's a luster paper and all of these colors have a little shine to them but I really like the gold and I've been using it a lot so that's what this came from and I actually cut it in half this way as you can see on the back here I'm just sandwiched so I have a little border around and then um, this one I made a thank you and I just put it on dimensionals. Here's the other one that's you're in my thoughts today. And that saying actually comes from the thoughtful expressions. Came from this one too. You're in my thoughts today. All right. So that goes right down there on dimensionals. Now to make this stand up, I used these little dots. These are called Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Fold Gems and you just kind of push it back to decide how much you want it to stand up and I think I'm going to go for this row of roses right here I think that would be a good place and I like to use the bigger ones so let's put one on that rose one on that rose and to make it stand up make sure it's substantial I'm just going to put it in between one there and one here and you don't have to use that many probably but them straight okay so see that's our stopper holds our card up I guess I might as well go ahead and pop this on finish the card completely okay and I made sure that I put this down in the corner because when this card folded down I didn't want that to show and you might have to move your flower over a little bit to, to hide it too so there is our finished card. Let me angle it this way a little bit so you can see it. There's our hummingbird going for the flower. And we do have hummingbirds here. In fact, someone told me they saw one the other day, so I need to put my feeders out. And then it closes up. See how pretty it is finished with, with the inside showing like that. And then your cinnamon on the back. I felt like we needed this piece on the back uh, because we need somewhere to sign. And see, here's my sample and this is the back of the one without that piece on it so i hope you like this card i, I really love it i think it's beautiful i love hummingbirds and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click on my little picture below and subscribe and like my video please and if you need a demonstrator i'd love to be your demonstrator so until next time happy crafting